Hello everyone, welcome to Aptly Plus Academy for Civil Services. This is a video on daily topic wise news analysis where I'll be covering the news from two important newspapers that is the Hindu and Indian Express. So possibly I'll try to cover the all important news that has been reported in today's newspaper and additionally I'll be supplementing the news some add-on information so that they can help you in prelims and mains examination. So let's get started with the topic first. Today is 4th of January and these are the list of the topic for the day. The first topic is Railtail proposed the smart classes for the rural school. The second important topic is Fasai slashes limit for the trans fat level in the foods because trans fat is something which is very dangerous for human health and hurt. The third topic is private hospital keen on vaccine role, right? What are the possibilities of private hospital that they can play a role in terms of the vaccination in India? And the second last topic is status of women farmers in India. This is an editorial reported in the Hindu. And the last topic is China amend the defense law. This is again a news that is being relevant in terms of the IR section. So these are some of the important topics. Apart from this, I'll be also discussing some MCQs question at the end of this video so that you could practice some important questions. So without any further ado, let's get started with the topic. So starting with the first topic, the first topic is Railtel proposed the smart classes for the rural India. The news has been reported in the Hindu and talking about the significance of this news, this is very much relevant for your general studies paper 2. Your GSK paper 2 is very important hai. and at the same time, if you are writing a case study in case study, general study paper 4, this can become very relevant. So let's understand the news, what exactly is there in the news. So during the pandemic, we have seen that the school was set in the pan India or student was studying from the home. Mostly the thing that has upgraded at this point of time was the level of the internet connectivity, smartphone and computers because this things has only helped the student to continue and sustain their studies, right? This is the reason why students can go to the school. Chal now, post -COVID jo world hogi, uh, in this post-COVID world, every school is preparing themselves to equip with and hold their smart classes. So almost all 600 schools in the central government in the rural area. So the focus is basically on the rural area because in urban area, we have well connectivity of the internet. But talking about the rural area, there has a lot of problem in terms of the connectivity and the buffering. So pe it's, you know, it's time for an ability to hold their smart classes. So what government is trying, the government is trying to penetrate as much as internet connectivity in the rural school so that a smart classes can also take place. Now the smart classes will be provided by a high speed broadband connectivity that would also be supporting in laptop and student would have an interacting session with the teachers because see when, once you are technically sound you can have any access to things right. Uh, we were also doing a session on online so uh, the part of that online classes or online as a lecture is very important when you have the good connectivity. Now talking about the rail tail, what is rail tail? So see the things are being taken care by the rail tail and rail tail is a mini Ratna PSU of Ministry of Railways. It is on forefront by providing a national wide broadband telecom and multimedia network. Jahan pe pure desh ki additionally modernization train operations ki baat kare, administration ki baat kare, to puri Indian railway ko jo services hai rail tail deti hai. Now with the pan India high capacity network, the rail tail is working towards creating a global society. So a knowledge society is being created with the help of rail tail and rail tail in the railway is providing a specific service known as rail wire. So you additionally, if you're traveling with Indian railways, you must have seen this box, which is there in collaboration with the rail wire and Google, they're providing high speed internet connectivity in the metro station as well as in the rural area. So this is an example and picture to get you an idea of what exactly is the rail wire. Now, Railwire is a retail broadband initiative of Railtail. It envisages and extends the broadband and application services to public. And baat karega Railtail ki, to public to establish fast and free Wi-Fi to all station except the hall station. Jo hall station hote hain, wahan pe inke services nahi hoti hai. Baaki saare jagah pe Railwire ki service aapko Pan India mil jayengi. Now talking about the targets by the Railtail. So the Railtail is a telecom PSU which I have told you. Uh, works under the Ministry of Railway. They have proposed that around 3.5 lakh students will educate and enroll karenge so that the central government can predominantly help the meritorious student in the rural India. For them, it would be very beneficial. 
Now the plan is to create an end-to-end -end learning solutions riding the solid optical fiber cable network, which will enable the backbone of the Indian railways and the telecom operations. So this is something which is going to help students a lot, especially for the rural people and the conduction of the smart classes would be something that would be very significant. Now coming to the national knowledge network program, uh, rail tail services would be providing in the Indian railways. They are already providing some connectivity to two 723 institutions of higher learning under the center knowledge, the national knowledge network program. It is also known as NKNP. NKNP is a program. This can be again relevant for the prelims examination. So broadband sector provide ki jari up to 10 gigawatt. Mostly in urban cities also we have the gigawatt, but sub urban cities mein baat kare, tier 2, tier 3 cities mein wahan pe hume MBs mein speed milti hai, internet connectivity ki. So the proposal of the power or the remote control with the high speed broadband is to create an internet of thing, jo IOT hoti hai, internet of thing create karna, taaki saare bachyo ko uska benefit mil sake, aur jo learning ke extensions hai, unko badhaya ja sake. So the variation and the dimension of the e-learning would be enhanced. So this is all about the national knowledge network program. Now talking about the second news that is Fasai slices the limit for the trans fat level in the food. This has been reported in the Indian Express and uh, trans fat as in concept is very relevant for the prelims examination. Any question from mains perspective would not be that relevant. So you can expect a question from mains perspective, only prelims oriented questions can be asked. Now the safety and standardization uh, authority of India that is Fasai has capped the amount for the trans fatty acid in oil and fat pehle ye 3% tak rakhi thi, 2021 ke liye. now they have increased and mostly they have decreased it to 2% so ab jo capping hai that is around 2% usse jyada trans fat nahi honi chahiye this is for 2022 and previously it was 3% right so current permissible limit thi amendment ke baad 5% through and food safety prohibition restrictions rules now the fasai ki notification hai that amends on december 29 more than a half year ago that has issued a draft on the subject on the consultation with the stakeholders. Now talking about the items under the regulation, so the revision hai, jo revised regulation hai, that applies to the edible refined oil, kin mein kin pe ye applicable hoti hai. So refined edible oil pe vanaspati, jo ki particularly hydrogenated oils hoti hai, ya fir margins ho gai, ya bakery ke kuch is tarah ke items hoti hai, that would be considered in the part of that. And bakery in general having a high amount of things that is they have a lot of cheese and butter oil spread in there so vegetable fats spread mixed fat jo hai in sare cheezon mein jo limit ki gayi hai that is for 2% of the trans fat now what is trans fat see as in concept for the prelims examination they can ask you any question with regards to the trans fat so trans fat or you call it as tfa this is the most harmful type of fats that is available to human digestive system or human body so the trans fat are associated with an increased risk of heart attack. Heart attack is the most common part. And this is the most possible that if you have increasing the trans fat, you can have a possible heart attack. Now death from the coronary and the heart diseases. These are something that would be very relevant. Now these trans fats are largely produced artificially in small amount that are occur naturally. So naturally jitne amount mein body ko chahi hoti, utni to take hai. Uske alave, if you're taking on artificial trans, fat, trans fatty acids, it form when hydrogen made to react with oil and produce resembling pure ghee and butter, right? So these are some of the important thing. If you're eating any of thing like, uh, I mean, talking about the desi ghee that is also helpful for your health, but taking too much of the ghee and butter would be increasing the trans fat in your blood cholesterol and ultimately led to the increase in cholesterol level. I'll show you an infograph. This is a different kind of fats that is available. First is the saturated fat. Second and first is the unsaturated fat. Second is saturated fat. Third is trans fat. So you can see the trans fat. These are some of the best fat which is known to the humankind. That is unsaturated fat. These are also called as good fat, right? If you're taking unsaturated fat, you're taking a lot of fruits. This fruit is avocado. So if you're taking a lot of fruits, that will help you. Now saturated fat a bit uh, healthier, not completely. But the worst is the trans fat, right? So they have a partly saturated with hydrogen and they increase the shell life, right? So this is not very helpful for the human body. Now talking about the trans fat and their body, you can pause this video and you can have a look. This is a good cholesterol, how this is affected. And you can see there's no binding of the LDL or cholesterol in the arteries. 
but talking about the bad cholesterol that is ldl lipodensity protein the cholesterol here bind and it's build up the messiness here which again you know make problem for the blood vessel to pass the vessel and ultimately this can have a lot of complication especially in you know, a heart so this is all about the trans fat and its repercussion its implication in the human body now talking about the who estimations so according to who अप्रोक्सीमेट रखा गया कि 5.8 लाख जो डेथ है दैट इज ग्लोबली अकरिंग बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इंडस्ट्री ऑफ द फैटी एसिड्स एंड डब्ल्यू एच एज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड दैट द ग्लोबल एनिमेशन ऑफ द ट्रांसफेट बाय 2030 नाउ इन 2018 डब्ल्यू एच कॉल्ड फॉर द एक्शन टू रिड्यूस द ट्रांसफेट बाय 3% इन 2021 ऑलरेडी 2018 में ही डब्ल्यू एच ने इसको क्लियर कर दिया था कि ये टारगेट होनी चाहिए सारे कंट्रीज के लिए बट इंडिया में फसाई ने अभी एक्शंस लिए हैं It was in 2011 that India's first passed regulation to set the limit of TFA, that is total fat, uh, trans fatty acid. उस समय 10 percent रखी गई थी, but in 2015 they had reduced to 5 percent, and at present it is reduced to 3 2 percent from 3 percent, right? Now, uh, WHO's estimate के मुताबिक, which I have told you, were 5.5 lakh death are globally being taken by the intake of TFA. So this is an important data that you can quote. in the other part of general studies as well now moving ahead with the other topic that is private hospitals uh, keen on the vaccine role so this is how the private hospital can have a play in terms of the vaccinating india so this would be relevant for your general studies paper 2 and equally relevant for your general studies paper 3 So, in order to speed up the vaccination process in the country, the private health, the private healthcare sector said they are keen on offering the COVID-19 vaccinations, and the union government stated that its priority is to vaccinate the most vulnerable group immediately. Right? जो ऐसे vulnerable group हैं, खास करके वैसे लोग जो कि highly vulnerable have the COVID-19 infections, they would be the first uh, to get prioritized in terms of the vaccination. That is comorbid. it is it is child or it is the elderly person so they would be the first aligned they would be the first people who would be vaccinated by the government so talking about the incorporating campaign uh, a list of the look which you can see like kon kon se vaccines ki kon kon se manufacturing hai kya kya efficacy we already had a discussion a lot about this so you can check uh, oxford which has an efficacy rate of up to 90% Moderna has an efficacy rate of ninety five, and among the highest is the Pfizer BioNTech, which has the efficacy rate of ninety five percent. But the best part is that most of the vaccines are now under two to eight degree Celsius. But BioNTech uh, and Pfizer and BioNTech there they need a chain of minus seventy degree Celsius, which is very hard for a country like India to sustain such logistic partners and the storage facilities, right? So to 2.8 to 2 to 8 or 18 or 20 degrees Celsius would be something that would be again relevant. But in India, if you talk about major part of the 70 degrees Celsius, this become very complicated, right? Now talking to the other part of the present status, the vaccine here that is not available in the private sectors. अभी तक vaccines की कोई confirmation नहीं हुई, approval मिल गई है. But talking about the stockpiling, only one institute which is there, Serum Institute of India, SII. तो सीनियर हेल्थ ऑफिशियल ने कहा है कि गवर्नमेंट को ब्रिंग मेजर्स टू हेल्प द लार्ज पॉपुलेशन टू गेट वैक्सीनेटेड एंड फॉर दैट प्लान लार्ज इम्यूनाइजेशन के लिए हो सकता है कि गवर्नमेंट को प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल की मदद लेनी पड़ी दे वांट टू कोलैबोरेट और नॉट बिकॉज इफ यू कोलैबोरेट द प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल दे अगेन हैव अ पार्ट इन द ब्लैक मार्केटिंग राइट वी हैव सीन ड्यूरिंग द एडमिशन ऑफ द कोविड नाइनटीन पेशेंट अ लॉट ऑफ ब्लैक मार्केटिंग हैज टुक प्लेस राइट तो ब्लैक मार्केटिंग से कैसे बचा जाए उसको प्रिवेंट करने के लिए काफी जरूरी बट एट द सेम टाइम वी रिक्वायर द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सपोर्ट to make people vaccinated at the earliest now this is what uh, a news has been reported in the hindu i'm not covering this news uh, in all detail because we already had a discussion so two more vaccine has been approved by india first is the covid shot we already had a discussion this on the saturday and covaxin right so these are the two vaccine first is being developed by the astrazeneca which is in collaboration with the oxford university and the second is covaxin which is in collaboration with the bharat biotech and icmr so these two have been recently approved for emergency purposes for emergency uses the government has approved it now coming to the other part of the news that is approval awaiting the dcgi that is director general of uh, you no know, drug controller general of india they have given approval for the pfizer and moderna vaccines so uh, there would be no question on the either private player or any government agency would be doing this vaccine abhi tak 
कोई भी कंफर्मेशन नहीं मिली दिस नो कंफर्मेशन स्टिल हैज नॉट गिवन द अप्रूवल एंड वंस दिस वैक्सीनेशन गेट अप्रूवल फ्रॉम द अथॉरिटी द पॉसिबिलिटीज आर देयर दैट प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल वुड आल्सो बी कोलैबोरेटिंग एंड पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ वैक्सीनेटिंग इंडिया now the other uh, editorial reported in the hindu talks about the status of women farmer this is an editorial talks about how the gender gap that is still persisting in the agriculture sector so talking about this relevance important for your gender studies paper 3 and as an fodder point you can also use this point in the essay paper so according to an eminent agriculture scientist ms swaminathan unke mutabik kuch baatein hain that can help you in quoting in your essay paper so make sure you note this कि कुछ हिस्टोरियन ने कहा है कि वुमेन वॉज द फर्स्ट डोमिकेस्टेड टू द क्रॉप प्लान वुमेन वॉज द फर्स्ट हु डोमेस्टिकेटेड द प्लान क्रॉप प्लान एंड वुमेन देयर बाई इनिशिएटेड द आर्ट ऑफ साइंस ऑफ फार्मिंग द फर्स्ट क्रेडिट शुड गोज टू वुमेन एंड वुमेन स्टार्टेड गैदरिंग द सीड्स फ्रॉम द नेटिव फ्लोरा एंड बिगन कल्टिवेटिंग देयर इंटरेस्ट फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ फूड फेट फूड फाइवर एंड फ्यूल बट at present context the participation of the women and the land holding of the women is very less so this entire editorial focus on that aspect talking about the common men's conceptions to agar agriculture ki baat kare to the total census ke mutabik 73.2% of the rural women are engaged in the farming activities but only 12.8% are having the land holding right to ye kafi kam percentage hai compared to their participation it is not even 15% 20% right so due to the cultural and social religious forces women have been denied ownership of the land because male are the people who have who have been always in the land holding part so this team the perception about framing the mal perceptions और अगर बात करें इंडियन ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट सर्वे की तो रिपोर्ट सेज दैट 83 परसेंट ऑफ द एग्रीकल्चर लैंड इन द कंट्रीज इनहेरिटेड बाय द मेल फार्मर्स राइट तो मेल मेंबर्स जो हैं वो कोपाई करते हैं और लेस देन 2 परसेंट ऑफ द फीमेल काउंटर पार्ट है देयर लैंड होल्डिंग नाउ बिसाइड दिस एटी ऑफ द वुमेन इन एग्रीकल्चर एंड द लेबर बिलोंग टू द शेड्यूल कास्ट कई अगर इसमें परसेंटेज देखी जाए तो कुछ एटी वन परसेंट में से शेड्यूल कास्ट शेड्यूल ट्राइब और अदर बैकवर्ड क्लासेस के लोग हैं जो कि लार्जेस्ट शेयर कंट्रीब्यूट करते हैं लैंडलेस लेबर में नो टॉकिंग अबाउट द कॉमन कंसर्न सो नॉन रिकॉग्निशन ऑफ द फार्मर इज द ओनली प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज फार्मर हैज नॉट बीन रिकॉग्नाइज एंड महिला किसान अधिकार मंच नोन एज मकम नोट्स दैट अनइक्वल एक्सेस टू राइट टू लैंड इज अगेन दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ देर इज अ जनरेटेड एक्सेस पॉइंट ऑफ द सपोर्ट सिस्टम सच एज स्टोरेज फैसिलिटी transportation cost cash for new investment and paying old dues to the service related agriculture credit right now despite such large contribution baat ki jaye agar sector ki to women's farmer have been reduced to marginal section the right? marginal section vulnerable hai abhi bhi they are exploited right so these are the some of the important concerns that has been raised in this editorial now talking about the farm law because of which the protest is going and women are of the fear कि ये जो फार्म लॉ है दैट विल फर्दर एंड डीपेंड देयर जेंडर इनइक्वालिटी इन द सेक्टर राइट बिकॉज देयर इज अ लैक ऑफ एमएसपी व्हिच इज नॉट देयर इन द फार्म बिल सो द मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइस इज नॉट देयर इट आल्सो हाईलाइट दैट द वुमेन आर बियरली इन द पोजीशन टू एंपावर एजेंट एंड ईदर अंडरस्टैंड द नेगोशिएशन एग्रीमेंट विद द कॉर्पोरेट एंटिटीज बिकॉज फार्मर आर नॉट दैट वेल एजुकेटेड एवरीवेयर टॉकिंग अबाउट पंजाब दे हैव द गुड नंबर ऑफ पीपल हु आर एजुकेटेड बट मोस्टली इफ यू गो टू द रूरल पार्ट ऑफ द इंडिया द पीपल आर नॉट वेल एजुकेटेड अबाउट दे आर नॉट वेरी मच फैमिलियर अबाउट द रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन एंड लॉज राइट तो उससे वजह से जो स्मॉल फार्मर्स होंगे उनको काफी ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम आ सकती है एंड देयर लैंड टू द एग्री बिजनेस वुड बी समथिंग दैट वुड बी सीवियरली इम्पैक्टेड और जो सबसे ज्यादा लॉस होगा वो उनके वेज लॉस पे ज्यादा असर देख सकती है these are some of the important concern that farmer has taken into the consideration and talking about particularly women farmer their participation should increase also in the land holding and more in the overall contribution of the farming sector in india in agriculture now the last topic that is china amend the defense law this is there in the hindu talking about its importance it would be contributing for your general studies paper 2 in the ir section right Uh, so let's see the news first that china president has signed an order that amend uh, china national defense law and the law gives that the central military commission is known as cmc has a greater power in mobilizing the resources to protect the new broader definition of what constitute the national interest to ye jo nayi amendment lai gayi hai central military commissions pe 
वो और ज्यादा पावर देगी मोबिलाईज करेगी तो किस तरह से जो नेशनल इंटरेस्ट है वहां पे प्रोटेक्ट किया जाए वहां पे चाइना में और टॉकिंग अबाउट चाइना दिस इज अ कंट्री विच इज वेरी स्ट्रिंजेंट इट इट्स लॉ आप वहां पे फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच नहीं आप कुछ बोल नहीं सकते अगर आपने कुछ बोल दिया यू वुड बी इम्प्रेजिडेंट फॉर फाइव ईयर मिनिमम राइट सो दे हैव दे हैव मेक इट मोर स्ट्रॉन्ग इट वुड बी मोर नो स्ट्रिंजेंट फॉर द पीपल हु आर एडवोकेटिंग फॉर द फ्री स्पीच इन द चाइना ना फोकस ऑन द लॉ क्या है कि जो रिविजन्स हुई है मिलिट्री इक्विपमेंट्स में विद इफेक्टिव फ्रॉम जनवरी फर्स्ट एंड द फोकस ऑन द वॉर प्रिपेडनेस एंड कॉम्बैट कैपेबिलिटीज सो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन दिस वुड बी यू नो कमिंग इन टू द पार एंड द लॉ डिफाइन दैट द बेसिक टास्क कंटेंट्स मैनेजमेंट मैकेजम एंड मिलिट्री इक्विपमेंट फॉर द वर्क अंडर द न्यू सिचुएशन एंड सिस्टम सो ड्राफ्ट की जो अमेंडमेंट है दैट वॉज रिलीज एंड द ईयर नोटेड वेन द चाइना सोवरनिटी unity territorial integrity and security development would be there and country would conduct a national or the local defense of the mobilization so these are the some of the focus area of the new amended law now talking about the expanded scope iske liye china mein kya kya scopes ho sakti so the amended broadband of the scope is the key for the security beyond the border maritime and air it would also include the electromagnetic networks or amendment ki agar baat kare so it said two thing first that china would participate in the global security governance which china has always been advocating for and joint multilateral security and push for the set of international rules is widely accepted fair and reasonable for the country like china but if you talk about india india mein itni zyada we do not have rules because we have a supreme court we have freedom of speech and expression we have fundamental right so this is partly not possible in india but uh, no in country like china uh, it, it it is a country where the freedom of speech is not taken into that advantage right now coming to the mcqs question of the day the first question that we are asking is from science and tech with reference to hyperspectral image satellite consider the following statement it was launched by using polar satellite launch vehicle the primary goal of the hisis is to study the surface in visible near infrared short wave region from the electromagnetic spectrum so what do you have to do you have to just let me know the correct option a b c or d and whatever you feel is the correct answer you can write that answer in the comment section down below now moving to the second question that is the wood dispatch on education laid great stress on need for female education and the second is that the christian missionary were first to be set up at calcutta female juvenile society so what do you have to do you have to choose the correct option among them and you have to write your answer in the comment section down below and uh, do let me know what type of question you want to be included in the uh, basically in the question answer series that we are discussing on daily basis if you have any sort of suggestions that you can write in the comment section so that we can incorporate some other part as well because we are trying all best possible question that can help you in prelims examination and if you are new to our channel do not forget to subscribe active plus academy for civil services on youtube and if you like this video do not forget to give a thumbs up if you have any other concern do let us know we'll be more than happy to assist you for time being i'm signing off wish you all the best stay home stay safe thank you so much